welcome to this week's episode of Full Steam Ahead. I'm Miss Kara from the South Regional Library. Come in and see me. Um, today we're going to be doing a craft project. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is set up either a nice uh, cheap tablecloth or I put cardboard down here or newspapers to protect your workspace from getting dirty because um, this is going to be a little bit messy. So you're going to want to do that. What you're going to need for this activity is a plain white t-shirt and go ahead and ask your parents to pre-wash this and dry it just to get any unwanted residue off of it that might have been left from the factory. You're going to want some Sharpies. I have lots of colors, but any colors you have at home should work. I recommend at least three, but you know, you can go more or less. The colors I'm going to start with and we'll probably use the most are this lovely light blue. This kind of uh, reddish purplish color in this yellow because this is kind of what printers use so this is gonna give us kind of the best blending of different colors um, you're gonna want something to tie your design with like rubber bands or you can use string either one will work and you're gonna want some isoprol alcohol or more commonly known as rubbing alcohol you probably have some in your um, in your medicine cabinet or bathroom closet, but you can find it just about anywhere. So that's what you need. Um, some extras to include, there's maybe a plate if you want to slip it in your shirt, but I'll get to that part later. Um, and like a dropper, a medicine dropper or something like that to drop the alcohol with. Um, so that is what you need. I will say we're gonna go through a couple of different designs that you could use to do your t-shirt. So wait till the end to decide what you want to do. All right, I'm going to adjust the camera angle so we can see this design better and we'll pick up from there, okay? Great. All right, so I have adjusted the camera so we can kind of see my work area. I have put on gloves because it can get a little messy. The first thing I want to show you is, the first design I want to show you is called a bullseye design. Um, this is what I use for my practice shirt, which I'll show you in a little bit. So you just want to have your shirt folded in half, like so, and you're kind of going to grab it from the middle and just pull it up like so. So that's what it's going to look like. And you're going to grab some, something to tie with. I'm using rubber bands. You can feel free to use, you know, string, whatever you have available. And you can kind of do as many sections as you want. I think I'm going to stick with three sections. I get it from my practice shirt, but you can put more. Probably wouldn't put less than two, but that's up to you. And I'm going to show you another design before I actually color anything. But essentially you're going to color each section a different color. So on my practice shirt I did red, yellow, blue. So red up here, yellow, and blue. But you can do it however you want. Um, as many colors or as few as you want to do. So the design I'm going to take you through today. We're actually going to start with this shirt laying all the way out and I have a very big shirt here um, so this shirt it's laying all the way out and I'm going to put my hand in the middle grab some and I'm just gonna start twisting it and I'm just gonna keep twisting it into this nice round twisted ball I'm actually going to try that again because that did not go quite how I wanted. There we go. Shirt. I'm going to grab it a little bit lower, I think. And so, just twisting it. Try and keep it as tight as you can. It's kind of the hard part. Just keeping it nice and tight. All right, so now I've twisted it. I'm gonna put my rubber bands on here. 
first one's the hardest. All right. I'm gonna use three. I'm gonna part this into six different sections. Probably use at least two, but again, this is your shirt. You make it how you wanna make it. You make this shirt yours, because it is. And again, shirts for you guys that are nice, kid sized, they're gonna be a little easier to do. All right, so I've twisted my shirt. I have it in a couple different sections, six sections to be exact. The next thing I'm gonna do is color my sections. And this part, well, it can take a while. So I'm gonna start with my blue. For those of you who don't know me, blue is my favorite color. And I'm just gonna color it. And again, this is gonna take quite a while. But the smaller your shirt, the faster it'll be. And you do wanna try and contain your colors to its section, but if it bleeds through a little bit, it's not gonna mess with the design that much. I'm going to use my pink next um, and I'm going to put the pink right here. I'll go back and color all this but I'm going to show you where I'm going to put the yellow and I'll probably end up doing a time lapse of this. I'm going to put some yellow, let's see, your rubber bands might move a little bit and that's okay. I'm trying to make sure I have three almost equal sections. So I'm gonna put some yellow right here. I think I got some on my blue, but that'll be all right. Oh, just give us an interesting little mark. And once you have everything colored, you're gonna flip it over and do the same thing to this side, but make sure your colors still match. So like this section is pink, this section is blue, this section is yellow, pink, yellow, blue. You're just going to make sure they match on the back side too. Okay? All right. So when you're done, you should have it look like this where all of it's nice and colored. Uh, now here's where the fun part comes in. We're going to pour some alcohol on this. Um, and the reason why alcohol is the thing that makes permanent markers permanent is that they're not soluble in water. They're alcohol based. Um, so they are soluble in rubbing alcohol, which is right here. And I put some in a little squirt bottle. You can use whatever you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this on all the different sections and watch what happens. Okay. Are y'all ready for this? Here we go. I'm just gonna kind of get it all nice, get all of it wet, and it's gonna spread. Might take it a minute, but we're gonna get all of this just kind of covered on the alcohol. Now over here, you can kind of see where it's mixing. Can you guys see that? And where the yellow and this pink red color are meeting, it's turning a nice pretty orange. So I really like that and get the pink to meet over here with the blue a little better. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over and do the same thing to this side. We're just gonna get it nice and drenched in this rubbing alcohol. Got a piece of cardboard on there, okay. So yeah, we're just gonna, we want this alcohol to rub into the other colors. I'm gonna let this sit. I'm gonna pour a little bit more too, just to make sure that this all blends really nicely. All right, we're gonna let this, make sure I got it over here. Got a little extra. Pour a little bit more over here. That just doesn't quite look. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. 
And we're going to do something a little simpler now. Move us over. All right, so this is the second set of designs. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can take a plate and slide it under the shirt like so and just expose a plate size amount to kind of protect the back of the shirt and you can draw different designs on here that's one way to do it depending on how big you want your design if you want to do a bunch of smaller designs you can do that too one way to do that is to take a cup stick it under here and just expose a small little bit of the shirt and hold it in place with a rubber band okay that's what I'm gonna do is just have a small little section and we're gonna draw a design I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a heart and I'm gonna put put some little flowers out here I'm gonna move to an orange one orange and then do some blue I'll try different ways of doing this just to see what happens and at the end of this video there will be some suggestions on designs you can do that kind of show you what will happen to them so that's pretty cool um, let's see what if we do cool little dot in the middle of our heart and some squiggles all right so we have all that this is where the syringe will come in handy if you have like a little syringe if not the dropper we were using will work just fine but the syringe will let you control how much alcohol you're dropping so I'm gonna start up here and just do drop and you can kind of see the color spreading the more you use the more it'll spread that's pretty cool you can kind of see that spreading look at how ooh that red you see how fast the red's going yeah um, so experiment play around draw whatever you want you can even draw a stick figure um, I'm gonna come back over here to our classic tie-dye shirt and I'm gonna undo the rubber bands that are around it and I'm gonna unroll it so you can kind of see what it looks like all right so that's what it looks like let me get up higher I can um, this is what it looks like. That's some really pretty colors going on in some places right here in the middle. We have some orange. Uh, and as this dries, you'll get more colors out of it. Um, so to set the color, to make this stay, what you wanna do is let it completely dry. You want this completely dry. I would recommend waiting overnight, letting it dry overnight. And then once it's completely dry, throw it in the dryer at high heat for about 15, 20 minutes. And that's gonna set your color to help it stay a little bit longer. If you wash it first, a lot of this color is gonna go away. So you wanna dry it before you do anything else. Um, that way you'll kinda keep the color a little better. So I really hope you enjoyed this. This is what the finished result looks like once you've dried it. Um, I did the bullet, I did the bullseye design that I showed you at the very beginning on this shirt. I really like it. Um, I wish I could wear it to work. <laughs> so, you know, I would love to see any tie-dye y'all have. So come visit me here at South Regional Library. Show me your tie-dye shirts. Um, get a library card, all that good stuff. And if you're interested in more things like this, check out our website, check out our catalog, or come in and get my help or another one of the children's department's help, okay? Bye!